when I go to my channel, I here we are going to work on this building drawing. And as you can see, this is, this is the sketch plan. And here we are told to that figure two shows the sketch plan of a bungalow. And we are to study the sketch plan with the given specifications and answer the questions that follow. And we are told that we should note that dimensions between walls are in to in. Okay, so this is the sketch plan as you can see here. And on this page here, we have the specifications for walls, for floor, for roof, for balcony, for doors, for windows, for beam. And the questions that we are given here is that uh, question A says that we should draw to a scale of 1 ratio 100 the following views. Uh, Roman figure 1 says front uh, floor elevation and uh, Roman figure 2 left end elevation and question B says that we should draw to a scale of 1 ratio 50 a detailed section KK from foundation to the roof and here we are told to assume suitable dimensions where unspecified okay now we need to go back to the sketch plan for us to know what it contains I will advise that we make a a screenshot of uh, this so that you can also have the sketch plan with you okay so for the sketch plan we have the dimensions as you can see here which I'll be taking I'll be bringing it for me to take the dimensions and for the specifications which you have seen so what I'm going to do now is to start with the construction of the floor elevation and do not forget that these lines that we have here they stand for the exterior part of the wall and uh, okay so let's go and work on it so the first thing that we need to do here is to uh, draw a horizontal line around here so we draw horizontal line here ensure that we have space so ensure that we have space up here so for um, other things that we are going to do so I will draw horizontal line from here to here Okay, so then I will also draw a vertical line. So from here uh, to here, like this. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is to take the horizontal uh, distances. So let me show you the horizontal dimensions as we have here. So from here to here is 4,350. So from here to here is 1,650. Y from year to year is 2500 here to year is 2500 so we are dividing each dimension by 100 so let's take those distances so the first one is 4350 so if i divide that by 100 that are given for 3.5 so that means i can take that as 44 millimeters so this is 44 millimeters here so followed by 1650 so if i divide that by by 100 that will give me 16.5 so i can approximate that and make it 17 millimeters so this is 17 millimeters so next one we have 2500 by 100 that will give me 25 so here i have 25 here and next one also is 2500 2500 by 100 will give me 25 so here i also have 25 millimeters to this point here okay so now so we have taken the horizontal distances up here so we also have the distances up down here so but let's take that of the vertical on this side of the sketch plan so here we have uh, 3600 followed by 2625 followed by 3600 again so i'm going to take um 36 so if i divide 3600 by 100 that give me 36 millimeters so this is 30 so and then here i have 36 so then next one is 2625 2625 by 100 give me 26.25 so i will take that as 26 millimeters so this is 26 millimeters here so i will need to extend this line a bit okay so the next dimension that we have is 3600 so 3600 by 100 that will give us 36 millimeters so this is 36 millimeters here so now so the next thing that i'm going to do here here i will draw a vertical line from this point so from this point here where that 2500 hems i will draw a vertical line like this 
okay then at this point here so i will draw horizontal line okay so we have what we have this all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is to take the horizontal distances along this line here along this line horizontal distances so here we have what we have 3000 3000 5225 so i will take 3000 so that is 3000 by 100 will give us 30 so this is 30 millimeters so next one is also 3000 so that will also give us 30 millimeters so which means the distance that we have from year to year we give us we give us 50 two millimeters okay let's leave it like that okay then we also have vertical distances along this line so here we have from here we have three thousand one two hundred this is four two hundred and we have one two hundred so that's three thousand i will take a measurement of 30 millimeters from this point down so this is 30 millimeters so followed by one two hundred that will give us 12 millimeters if we divide that by by 100 that's 12 millimeters so this is 12 millimeters so next one is 4200 that is 42 millimeters if we divide it by by 100 that's 42 millimeters so the rest here will be 1200 so uh let's uh we are done with that so the next thing that i'm going to do here is to i want to show you something so this line here they are in line so from here they are in line so which is the end of this 3000 that we have here so which means i will just join this together so i'll join this together as a vertical line okay so i just draw from here to here as a vertical line so and also so here i'm going to draw this line so to meet this line here okay then i uh, will also draw a line from here so to meet this line and here i will draw a vertical line to meet this line okay so um so the next one that I have here, so is the line that we have here, this line here. So it's here. So here I will draw it as horizontal line. Then, so coming up here, so we have a line at this point. So we have a line here. So I will draw this line. So it's okay like this. Then we also have a line at this point so it goes and uh so it comes to this and let me draw this vertical line because it touches this vertical line so i'll just take this down okay so then i'm going to okay so this is not long enough so here i will draw so this line so from here to this end to touch this line okay so which other one do we have again so we have a vertical line at this point so it touches this line okay it touches this line like this okay so then there's another line there is another part that we have here that is not uh that is not dimensioned so that is what we have from here to here it's not dimensioned that is the water closet and part that we have it so it's not dimension so i'll just take a measurement of 15 so i will use 1500 for that so that is 15 millimeters so i will take 15 millimeters then i will draw a vertical line so like this all right so we have put all the lines in place so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh like is to uh, draw the thickness of the wall so we need to make it thick so we go to the specifications where we have the walls so for the walls we have all walls 150 thick concrete hollow blocks so 150 by 100 will give us 1.5 approximately 2 millimeter so approximately 2 millimeter so it is 2 millimeters that i will use for the thickness of the wall 
So let's start the work on the thickness of the wall. So let's start with the vertical uh, wall first. So this is two millimeters here. So I'll come up here and take two millimeters. So I just did few view few ones that you will see. Then I'll pause the video and do the rest. So then when I'm done with that, I will come and show you the next thing to do. So we draw a vertical line down here. So and then um so maybe I should do one horizontal, one vertical I've done here and one horizontal. So um so let me do this one here up. So this one is complete. So this is two millimeters here, and I'll come to this end and also take two millimeters. So this is two millimeters. So here I'm going to draw some horizontal line. Um, all right so that is it so that's it so i'll pause the video and do the rest when i'm done i will come back and show you the next thing to do all right as you can see here i've taken uh, the walls as you can see and the next thing that we are going to do is to fix the windows and for the windows we have uh, three different type of door of the sorry of the windows here so we have w1 w2 w3 and each of them has its own uh dimensions and then here we have 2400 by 1200 that is for w1 for w2 we have 1500 by 1200 and for w3 we have 600 by 600 okay so these are uh, 2400 i'm going to take it as the height why this one two hundred? I will take it as the width. So we are using the width in the plan or in the floor elevation. So all these they are the width, and that's what I'm going to use for each of them. So let's fix the windows first. So we need to make use of the uh, sketch plan that we have here. So let's start with this. This is W two, W three, W two. So for W uh two that we have here so the width is one two hundred one two hundred so here i'm going to so you try as much as possible to centralize it that is okay so for the window so try as much as possible to centralize it so here i'm going to take 12 millimeters so this is so this is 12 millimeters here okay so i'm going to okay so i will fix the ones here so then uh, i will pause the video and fix the rest then when i'm done i will come back and show you the next thing to do so we have w3 here so which is 600 so uh, i that six six millimeters so i just take six millimeters here okay and then here we have what we have w2 that is also one two hundred so that's 12 millimeters so this is 12 millimeters so all right so then so i need to complete it now by drawing so two lines here so i will draw this again all right so we have fixed this window so i will continue with the rest while i pause the video when i'm done i'll come back so that we can fix the doors all right so i fixed i fixed all the windows so now we go for the doors and we have four uh different uh doors here of uh, four different types of doors we have the one d2 d3 and d4 and each of them has its own specifications or dimensions so for d1 we have 1800 by 2100 and for d2 1200 by 2100 for d3 900 by 2100 and d4 is 750 by 2100 okay and for d1 we are told that sliding aluminum door with 50 by 100 aluminum frame 
uh, for D2 metallic door with 50 by 100 metallic frame uh, for D3 we have wooden flush door with 50 by 100 add wood frame and for D4 we have wooden flush door with 50 by 100 add wood frame okay so and um, so for the doors so we have this as the width so these are the widths of the doors and then these are the height of the doors so for D1 so where do we have D1 we have D1 here uh, at the entrance to the living room so we take um, so that is 18 millimeters so that's 18 millimeters if we divide it by 100 so we have 18 millimeters so this is 18 millimeters here so we have 18 millimeters and don't forget that the door is a sliding a uh, sliding door so sliding door so we are going to uh, put an arrow so we are going to draw a line like this and we put an arrow head here and okay so we also draw another one so that goes up like this so we put an arrow head here so that so this shows that it is uh, it's a sliding door so it's moving to the right and also to the left okay So we have fixed that door. So let's fix other doors that we have here. So D3, so D3, so D3, we have it to be a flush door, but we are only using the width here in the plan. So here we have one here, we have one here. So um, so I'm fixing one here. So that is, um, that is 900, that is 900, that is nine millimeters. So this is nine millimeters. So we also have another one here. So we take nine millimeters up and we draw we join this together. Okay, so we have fixed these two doors. So I'm going to pause the video and then I will continue with the rest. When I'm done with that, I will come back and show you the next thing that we need to do. So if we still have something to do, okay. All right, so I'm trying to bring out the thickness of this wall. So also, I will... this all right so I pause the video now all right I've fixed the, <coughs> the doors as you can see here and I've also also put the wardrobes and also uh, right towards the road uh, here as we have bedroom water closet and bath, kitchen and so on. I've written everything here. So the next thing that we are going to do is the beam. So we have beam here in the back corner. I've not written that. So uh, so uh, they said here that the beam 300 by 300 reinforced concrete. So we are going to take a measurement of uh, 3 millimeters. So 3 millimeters here. So this is from here. So this is 3 millimeters. I will also take Three millimeters here also okay so we are going to uh, draw this with short uh, dashes line okay so to be short dashes line here in the floor plan also so this will also be drawn 
with short dashes line. Okay, so that is for the beam. So and then we have back one here. Alright, so that's it. So the next thing that we are going to do here is to draw the uh, east projection. So east projection, we are going to draw it as a rectangle around this and it's going to be drawn in short dashes line. So I'll pause the video, do that then. When I'm done, I'll come and show you how it looks. Alright, so I've drawn the east projection as you can see here. So it is drawn with short dashes line and the uh, distance is 600 which we divided by 100 and it gives us 6 millimeters so this is what we call is projections as simple as I've done it here all you need to do is to practice and when you practice it you become a master thank you and God bless you